I am so overwhelmed. Ugh. This is one of the biggest vacations that I have to prepare for. I'm just like really feeling the pressure. But hello everyone, welcome back to another video and my last video before my big vacation vlog which I can finally reveal where we're going which is Zanzibar and Tanzania. And I am so, so excited for many different reasons. Firstly, because, I mean, it's an international trip to two places we've never been before. Obviously, we're going on a safari, which is like such a hands-on adventure, full day activity. I just really, really wanna make sure that I'm super prepared. And then Zanzibar is an island off the coast of Tanzania. It's obviously more like tropical beach vibes, but still has a lot of culture. Another very exciting thing about this vacation is that my whole family is going on it, inshallah. So it's not just going to be Salah and I, it'll be my parents, my two sisters, my brother-in-law, and my aunt is coming with her family. So my uncle and cousin will also be there. So I'm Literally so excited. It's such a blessing to be able to experience this. Obviously, I want to make tons of content there and look super cute because I'm not trying to go on the safari and regret not serving looks for the animals. Over the past few weeks, I have been doing like a ton of shopping. I felt like A, I needed to like spruce up my wardrobe for the summertime and B, just feel like really confident and excited about what I'm wearing on this vacation. So I try to find pieces that are very like practical yet cute and modest obviously. So definitely going to be trying on some pieces and sharing that with you guys. Like, the state of this room is just shambles. I usually try to make the room look nice for film good. I literally don't care. Like, my hijab cap is drying. My t-shirt is drying. I have, like, a million clothes that I wash, so they're all, like, drying on my drying rack. It's another <laughs> hijab swim cap right there. Clothes on the floor. Clothes on the bed. My goal is to finalize what I'm bringing in terms of, like, outfits and try not to overpack i mean i already know i'm going to i do this on like every trip i just like to be someone who's like over prepared so even when it comes to like you know things that'll make me feel like comfortable and things that'll be convenient like i want to bring whether it's like aloe vera if i get a sunburn or like medicine okay i feel like the first order of business is kind of separating all of my clothes into different categories i kind of did that already i have my cute outfits and dresses right here mixed with like some of the safari outfits. I have um, like workout clothes, swim clothes, just comfy lounge stuff, PJs, um, airport outfits. Like obviously I'm not going to bring all this stuff. I just like to lay it out. For our safari, what's happening is that we're only going to bring like a small duffel bag um, to the actual like safari, not like we're bringing like our whole suitcase. So it's just like a lot of planning and sometimes my brain feels really scattered. Um, so I'm gonna try my best to like keep my cool. Okay, so I think we're going to start trying on some of the safari outfits. So hopefully this lighting you guys can see, but this is like a linen type shirt from H&M. It's really nice and thin and like I love the color obviously. I feel like it's so safari. And then just like kind of a side note, they obviously say it's best to wear more neutral colors like khakis greens grays i mean you could wear white but you're obviously going to get that dirty just with like all the you know dirt and dust kind of driving through the wild even though this is like new and cute i don't mind getting it a little dirty i just don't want to get i don't want to wear something white and have it be more obvious it's a nice like you know oversized fit so i got a size medium just for reference i just have on this aritzia bodysuit it's sleeveless so once the weather hits the highest temperatures during the day like this will be nice and airy and then i have on some also linen blend trousers from h&m they have this like elastic waistband here so it's obviously like a wide leg fit you can kind of catch the color difference on camera that this is more like cool toned this is more warm toned i don't think i'm gonna care that much about like matching it perfectly it could be a little monochromatic moment i have on everything the same besides this little shirt here this is one of those shirts that it's like open and then there's a little tie under here and then you wrap it here and i love these types of shirts obviously it's like really wrinkled right now and i didn't do the best job at tying it but again it's a really nice light material i don't know if it's linen it feels almost a little like silky it's really breathable i don't know if these pants quite go with them okay i just put on another pair of pants these pants are actually from costco they're really cute like 
I love Costco. Like I just, sometimes I look through the clothes there and one day I found like so many amazing things. They're nice, like light summer material. I also got them in black. The black ones do feel a little bit more itchy or like rough. Just go check out Costco. And these were so cheap. I think they were like between 11 and $15. Like, are you kidding? Okay. This shirt, I love this shirt. I've worn this last summer. This is from Zara. I wore this in Bali. And it's just like literally the cutest shirt ever. I have um my Skims, no fits everybody, bodysuit underneath. This bodysuit has come in clutch like countless times. I just realized I did not have my ring on. I feel like it's definitely giving like safari too. Even if I don't wear it like on the mainland, I can wear it just um on the beach. Okay, I kind of changed the angle. I don't know if this is any better for, in terms of lighting. Like this next dress I love. This is an H&M dress. I just like want to spin it. I feel like a giraffe. I feel like I'm one of the animals. It's just so flowy and pretty. Again, I have this um, Skims bodysuit on underneath. Um, and this is a nice like chiffon material. The only thing is that I feel like it would look weird if I wore black leggings underneath. So that's why you see this like white slip skirt at the bottom. I just need to figure out do I need to get some nude leggings? Like do I need a nude slip skirt? Because this dress it like kind of opens up. So obviously I can't just not wear anything underneath. But yeah, you like wrap it around and you tie it. It's just so pretty. It's a size small. Again, this is from H&M. I will try to link everything in the description below. Okay, you guys. This next dress, like, I literally die. Like, okay, let me say, I love, you know, my basic, like, maxi dresses that we all get from, you know, the common, modest fashion brands, H&M, whatever. But I love to serve a look or two. This dress right here is a look. I feel like it goes with like kind of a daisy vibe. Like it's just more, it's just different. This is my mom's dress. I don't know where she got it from, guys. So I'm really sorry that I can't share that information. It's still like great um, inspiration for anyone. And then this scarf here is just like one of my mom's. The scarf is a little too much maybe, so I might may or may not wear it. Here's what it looks like without anything. Again, just like super pretty. This is definitely island vibes. The skims on underneath, you just see how practical skims is. Hey okay, guys, here's another dress. This dress is from Zara. I love the tears and it's just a very pretty design. But the only thing is, and I'm sure you guys might be able to tell, it's like an awkward fit. Like it's super tight on this last tier. And I feel like there needed to be one more or like the waistline just didn't need to be so tight. This is one of the dresses where I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring it. Like it's super pretty and it's such a summertime like island dress, but I don't know if there's like a better one, I might take that instead. Okay, and then this dress is from Modern Hijabi. It's just that gorgeous, what is this called? Shirred style. Here are the sleeves. I believe this is a size small and obviously the thing is like fully lined. I would say this is like fully cotton. It looks linen. Yeah, this is definitely coming with me. Okay. I'm so happy with this dress. So this is a dress that I recently thrifted from one of the thrift stores up in Cleveland. I believe one of my previous videos, I show that I got this dress. Fortunately, like I don't have like a link for it, but it was kind of a risk getting this dress because I was like, I don't know if it's going to fit well. And like, I just refused to try and thrifted clothes until I washed them. I loved, I'm so sorry for showing my bare feet. <laughs> I loved the bottom, how it kind of like, I don't know, it goes out like that. I feel like a mermaid in it. I'm actually wearing it backwards. Okay, what do we think? Do we like it backwards or just like the normal way? This is definitely like beach vibes. I'm imagining myself collecting stones. I just feel like it's gonna be such a vision. Okay, this next outfit is actually one I'd wear on the safari. I forgot to try it on earlier. This romper is from Target actually. And I got it in a size medium. So I feel like it's a little large. I also didn't button it at the top here, so that's why this part's kind of loose. But I can't tell if it's like so large that it's unflattering and like if it's worth going back and exchanging it for a smaller size. Like I did want that oversized look. And so here's what it looks like kind of from the side. I don't know. Like, is it not flattering? Like, does it make me look wider than I am? What do we think? It has pockets, which is a huge plus. And again, it's like that flowy, like linen materials. Sorry for this weird angle, but I forgot to try these pants on. I'd already tried them on yesterday. These are like some cargo looking pants from Target. But I tried them on 
and they're just like too big and you know when pants have like extra material kind of like at the crotch area these have that and then it has that like gap in the back um where it doesn't quite fit like perfectly against my waist I think i'm gonna have to go back to target to see if i can find a smaller size in the romper and if that fits better and see if the smaller size in this also fits better the next line of business is me just narrowing down all the other pieces of clothes i'm gonna bring and then packing them up in my suitcase just kind of went through my makeup and narrowed down what i want to bring and I love to just wear minimal makeup on vacations, glowy products, SPF. I also like to wear more color, so I have some cute, like, you know, berry tone things. I don't think I already mentioned this, but we're going to Tanzania, Zanzibar next Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, and we're going, like, next Wednesday. So I am packing quite early, but that's because I have to be in Cleveland this weekend. So I just want to get everything like together. When it comes to toiletries, I usually pack a few of these size bags. Here's just some stuff that I've laid out. We are definitely going to need some sunscreen and some insect repellent. I, we use both of these in Bali and they worked pretty well. I like to bring a smaller size brush and this like foldable brush as well. Definitely bring a face razor. And then I usually use my electric toothbrush, but I'm just gonna bring a normal one because of size. And then of course toothpaste. And there's like a million other bathroom 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 things that I need to pack and bring. These little travel size bathroom containers. I got this from Target. It's nice because it's like you could squeeze it. So I like to fill up my face wash and body wash, shampoo, etc. in these guys here. I'm feeling so tired right now. It's like 6.30 and I think the day is just catching up to me. So I think really all I'm gonna do for the rest of today is like pack the clothes and stuff in the suitcase. Also, I have like four different matching PJ sets that I need to choose from to bring. And they say to wear long sleeve, long pants at night just cause of like bugs and mosquitoes. So I have this like, is this a Terry material? I don't know, it's like cotton and stretchy from H&M. These are some BTS um, PJs that my little sister got for me. They're a nice light material. These are Ralph Lauren that my sister, other sister got me. They're also very nice and light. And then this is also from H&M. Ah, <sighs> decisions, guys. I don't know. I think I'll definitely have to bring this one because it's just so vacation. And then I might bring one more. I'm not sure. Yes, that whole suitcase is just for me. I like to use packing cubes. These are from Amazon. I feel like I keep forgetting to show you guys stuff, but I got this hat from, from H&M and it's just a nice like visor and I feel like it'll work well like, you know, with my hijab and under the turban and stuff. And then I got this really cute bag from H&M and it has a lot of space so it can fit my camera, a small water bottle, portable charger, phone, etc. that I'm bringing is this it's like a longer one and it has a cute zip and crisscross feature in the front so I really like that and it comes with leggings and like a swim cap turban thing and then the other one so it just has some black leggings and it's like this color shirt so um, I feel like we're gonna be doing a lot of swim activities on the island so I just want to make sure I have a few options to how many scarves I bring but like you guys know you need options you don't want to be away from the convenience of your scarves and not have the perfect shade honestly I might be overpacking I have to check the weight and everything I might take some stuff out but I'm gonna try to fold my modal scarves more flat so they don't get as many wrinkles but i already know it's probably gonna get like so wrinkly by the time i get to my destination i want to show you guys
eyes with shoes I'm thinking of taking. These are like cloud slide tubes that I just got from Target. They're literally $15 and they're really cute and comfy. I just hope that they like don't break or anything, but I don't see them breaking. They already have a little like mark right there, but whatever. Just one pair of solid sneakers and these are also like cute and can go with stuff. So I'll wear these in the airport definitely to um, save space and I'll probably wear them on the safari too. I'll probably bring an extra pair of slides like for the house or just like if I don't want to get these like too ruined. I feel like Adidas slides are always so good. Not bringing all these heels, maybe like one or two. These are from H&M. They're just so nice. They're a kitten heel and they're super comfortable and they go with everything. Then I have these clear Steve Madden wedges which are also super comfortable and go with everything. So I might bring these two. This is like a chunky sandal heel thing. My sister gave me these and I always trip in them. So even though they're really cute, unless I have like a lot of extra space, I might not bring them. And then in terms of bags, obviously I'm bringing the H&M one, which I showed you guys earlier. I've shown this in a previous vlog. This bag right here is from Bali. I would love to be able to fit this one. This one is obviously just like a go to would go with everything so i'd be i think it'd be smart to bring this and this one i brought to bali too last summer and it was really cute it's obviously like very island vibes with this little wo woven material also this is a lip gloss that i put on my hand i thrifted this so i don't know where it's from but again unless i have a lot of extra space I don't think it'd be smart to bring it. I don't know if I mentioned this is also from H&M. Side note, I got like a bunch of these travel size things for my travel bag. And I definitely don't have the mental capacity or physical capability of packing a travel bag right now. Be sure to check out my TikTok to see what I'm going to pack in my travel bag. Keep an eye out on my TikTok. There's a lot of good content that I put out way more often than YouTube. And I'm planning to do not daily mini vlogging, but like maybe... A good amount of morning get ready with me is dina underscore hussein and then my instagram is dina hussein underscore guys that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed coming along the packing process with me i'm by no means done but i am by many means exhausted <laughs> if you like this video and if you're liking my vlogs please don't forget to subscribe like and comment i'll see you in the next video which is the zanzibar and tanzania vlog i'm so excited okay bye everyone